Hi guys, happy Monday. Thank you for joining. Today we are going to do an African dish. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna say it correctly or not. It's called Kisigawat. It's an African stew. I love it. It's one of our favorites to have in our house. And we've been eating it for a long time. The kids have had it since they were young. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping some of the veggies before I get started because it's gonna take me a little while and then I'll get the pan started as well. Happy Monday, hope you guys had a great week. We have a lot of chopping to do. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys the African stew meat because it's something that you can do at home very easily. It doesn't require a lot, it does require the spices of course, but the spices are not expensive. So if you've ever gone to an Ethiopian restaurant or an African restaurant and had a dish that you really, really liked and you wanted to try it but you just weren't sure about the dish, um, a lot of them are not hard. That, that goes for Asian dishes and Indian dishes as well. A lot of them are very easy to make, but they just require the knowledge to be able to do it. So today I'm going to show you how I make my version of the African stew. Okay? So we're gonna get started, we're gonna chop up and then talk a little bit. So I'm just gonna, of course, take this apart. This is not gonna be in my stew. This is gonna be part of another dish, but I wanted to get this started because I'm gonna put this together with my um, freezer meal stuff for later. And then I'll do that. But right now I'm just gonna get my stuff ready for the stew. All right, so. We have garlic, and I'm gonna use the whole of garlic here. Um, you can either use a chopper, or you can chop it in large chunks, whatever you prefer, or you can even mince it if you want. And I'm probably going to mince it, just to make this a little bit faster, um, with my little garlic press, sorry. And then I've got two small onions. You can do one large. I'm just gonna cut them up and you can do the onions so that they're diced, diced really finely or you can do them a little bit chunkier. My mom, when my mom makes this, she dices it so that the onions disappear in the stew. I like mine a little bit chunkier. I like the texture of the onions, but you can do it whichever way that you prefer. When, and I've had it both ways at restaurants as well. All right, so he's gonna do a trick that he saw. Right, okay, so I just saw this trick where you put the clove of garlic with the skin on there, like in a plastic container, and then you like shake it up, and it's supposed to like, the skin's supposed to fall off. I thought it was metal. I guess it's like metal or glass or whatever. Oh, it's I guess I could have paid attention to what I was doing. Yeah. So what if you, here, so what if you do... Because a lot of times the skin won't come off if you've got that little hard edge back there. Try that. Uh, so Maybe that, that was the whole hack. Maybe I only watched part of the video. No, a lot of people don't cut that off, but it makes it easier to peel if you're doing it by hand. Mm. Oh, it did pretty well. It did sort of well. Maybe that's easier. It took off a little bit. Very cool. Yes, it gets to shaking. Cut these off. No, I can't. I gotta do my chunks of. Oh, yummy. So I'm doing two small onions, a whole head of garlic, and I'm just taking the onions and chopping them up kind of thick. Hi, baby. And then I'm going to get those started. And then I'm going to start cutting up my meat. So I got the meat from Costco, and I'm going to you know, kind of prepare it for today and then for another dish. And once I get the... Come by, you gotta come this way because you're gonna be really loud. So, um, we're gonna do the African dish, and then as a side dish while that's stewing, I'm gonna show you how to do a really quick sausage and peppers. Oh, okay. So, while oh, he's over work. here making yeah. ruckus, oh, you cut it off, that's why. Yeah, like that. All right, see this one thank you. All right, see, having people in the kitchen to help you is look at that, awesome. Look at that. You see what I'm it worked. What? Can I get two up top? Bam. All right, I'm gonna turn this around. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so you wanna turn the oven or the stove top on? Mm -hmm. 
Go to just the get get a few, get a garlic clove and put it in the glass jar. I have a little mason jar somewhere. Let me try that. I, I might need one more thing of garlic. You know, just, 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 do, just do, don't do this one. Just do this one. Don't These two. This. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's enough garlic. I'm really the only one, well, you will, that don't like all this garlic in here. Definitely. So while he's working on that, and you have to ignore my tan. I know it wobbles, but it's this stove here. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of oil to get started. Let it heat up, and then I'm going to add my onions and my pepper, or my onions and my garlic. And then I'll start on the meat. I'm doing a different cutting board for the meat. Oh, one of them came apart. Can you see? Show it on camera. That one came off pretty easy, but this one's still stuck. <laughs> okay. Flying garlic. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no, nothing wrong with that. So while that's heating up, it worked? Yeah. Sweet. Thanks, Joey. We love hacks. Came right off. Oh, trying to lift this heavy thing. Here we go. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. I love it. All right. So that's going. I'm going to grab my meat. We just got the meat and it's not good. Ew. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. But instead, I'll just start the sausage and peppers. And I already diced up the, the onions a totally different way. So normally I would do them really, really thinly sliced. But because I already diced these, I'm not going to waste them. I could put them away and then chop again but I'm not even gonna do that. We're gonna totally do this on the fly because this is what happens sometimes in the kitchen. You know, I've had that happen before with fish. Jody Adams says, what kind of meat? Uh, just stew meat, like a really thick stew meat. And then I usually take the meat, wash it, and cut it into like two or four pieces, um, just because not everybody likes the big pieces of meat in there, which is fine too. All right. Um, the big pack of stew meat because it's so much more affordable and I take that and I do about two-thirds of it for the African meat just so that we have um, lots of leftovers because we love the leftovers too so I'll probably just go back and get the um, am I making a mess oh. I'll probably just go back and get the stew meat tomorrow that way I can do it because I already told everybody in the house that we were having it and I think everybody was like excited and ready. So, but I didn't check the meat. I didn't think it would go bad today. Well, we'll have to suffer with sausage. I know, right? We'll have to suffer with sausage and peppers. All right, so there's five of us. One, two, three, four, five. I have to do more than five. Oh, there it is. I'll do 10. Mm. And I like my sausage and peppers with pasta. You can do it with rice or quinoa. Um, what else? What else have I done it with? Rice, quinoa. I've just done sausage and peppers with potatoes. I think you've done pasta before too, right? Yeah. And then mm. this is the, I got, this is like one of our favorites. Hopefully you got that. Pot that my mom thinks is hers. No, no lid. Is you should just scare me and have her get that ready. Ask her to come get the pasta pot ready. So I'm just gonna cut up my sausage um, because this is chunked. Instead of doing um, just the whole sausage, I'm gonna go ahead and chunk it up as well. And I can already smell the. I can smell the oil. Oh. Fill this up with water to about there. 
uh, actually to about there, about an inch from the top, and that way we can get that started for the sausage and the peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything in the oil. The oil is nice and hot. I only, because I was doing a tomato base, I only put about one tablespoon of oil. I'm gonna add a little bit more for this. I love my little scraper chopper thing. Scrape everything off here. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add, got a little bit of that garlic skin in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add in another tablespoon of the oil. And you can use whatever oil you want. You can do olive oil or, oh, you know what's really good in this? Garlic oil. Is this good? Yeah, is that at the top? Almost at the top? Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you all. So I'm gonna keep this. And again, I'm just going to dice it. You could leave it whole, but since I'm going to put it with pasta, I'm, I want it to look, you know, kind of appeasing, and I don't want anybody to have to cut their, cut their sausage. What kind of pasta do you want? Um, I have another pasta container here with like Lady some free pasta. Huh? Lady's choice. Ah! Y'all, y'all, y'all. I should have um got scissors to open that. Can you get scissors for that? It was too hard to open. All right, so I'm just gonna take my knife and just chunk it up. These cook pretty quickly, but I do like them to get a little crispy in the frying pan. Thank you, honey. You're and, man, I really wanted that African meat today. I've been thinking about it all day. All day I've been thinking about it. But that's okay. I try to keep as much variety as I can. So, oh, if you want to sign up for the, the newsletter and get a copy of my meal plans, go to thehappymustardseed.com. That's us. I can't add any seasonings to this yet because these sausages are so good just by themselves. You can add a little bit of ground garlic if you wanted to. But you don't have to. Little tiny bit of water in the pan and then cover it up so it'll kind of steam a little bit and then finish cooking. My water a little bit and just a little. By the way, those sausage and peppers, you're just gonna cook them until they're done. It could be 10 minutes, it could be 20, it just depends on the onions and the peppers. So, also, I think that being prepared and having a list, whether it's a list from me, a list that you put together, and you really should put together a list, it will help you so that you can throw things together very quickly and not have to really worry about stressing over your meal plan. And you can get together really, really simple meals. It's really good. Just frying it up. Okay. The flavor. Here, babe, will you put this back in the freezer for me? Yeah. This one? Yeah, thank you. Alright, so that's ready to go. And can you show that to them so they can see? I know I'm far away again today. <laughs> Don't drop it out. Kill me. <laughs> this is an amazing sriracha sauce. This is good on pasta, you know, all kind of pasta, spaghetti. It's so good. Oh my gosh. You can also put that on this too. All right, guys. These two sauces are amazing. That's it. Thank you so much for joining. Happy Monday. Don't forget to go to thehappymustardseed.com. Make sure you sign up for the newsletter and you'll get all of my meals for August. Um, you'll see exactly what I'm going to cook. And you'll also get to response to the newsletter. You can ask me questions there as well. If you don't want to ask them on the live show and then I'll answer them here for you. Thank you so much for watching the happy .com. I'm Carla. That's Rick. That's Isabella and everybody else is somewhere else. Have a great rest of the week and I will see you next week.